Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Dialysis Bulletin. Uh, since a long time I have not uploaded any video. Uh, I was quite busy in another works. So uh, from now onwards I will be uh, uploading more videos. So today's video is basically for a TDS meter. Uh, a TDS meter is a small handed device uh, used to indicate the total dissolved solids in a solution usually in water. Since a uh, dissolved solid ionized such as salts, minerals indicates the conductivity of a solution. A TDS meter measures that conductivity of the solution and estimate the TDS from that reading. So uh, here we will uh, take some water like raw water, or softener water and uh, product water and uh, we'll gonna check the TDS of that uh, from that water and uh, we'll show the reading so as I have told you that uh, I will measure three types of uh, different water which we generally use in dialysis one is raw water second is post softener water and third is product water so I'm gonna show you that how we will check the TDS of three different types of water so for that we need a TDS meter like that and there is three function over here one is hold second is temperature and third is on off so when you check uh, you are going to check the TDS of the water you should start over here you can see and after taking the reading you have to hold you have to press hold button okay so that uh, so that the value will be in hold after that you have to unhold and off so right now i'm going to show you first we will take the raw water so right now it's zero you have to drip all the TDS meter and right now I'm holding okay so it's now you can see that 901 into 10 ppm that means 9000 approx 9000 TDS now I'm going to unhold so it's now clear I'm clearing the water I will take some water in the cup so I can still it's 3 sensing something so I will drip it and now it's 0 again it's into 0 so now we will check the post softener water which is here so the post softener water is 153 ppm ok now I am going to unhold it's now again in zero if you don't uh, having zero or uh, the neutral value you have to clean uh, with the distilled water or RO water then you will get the zero value ok now I am going to check the RO water it's now it's 8 ppm so as I say that in here you are getting 9000 approx 9000 value in here you are getting approx 125 value and here you are getting 8 ppm so this is a big, very big difference you are, you are taking raw water and your softener is well working so it's give it's uh, reject all the calcium and magnesium 
and uh, the salt elements so after that you are getting here 8 ppm of RO water it's quite good it's quite good I hope uh, you like the today's video and uh, if you want uh, more videos on educational purposes uh, on uh, RO water or anything else you can uh, comment me directly and uh, do like subscribe and share thank you